Hey, 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 what's going on, Prophetic Weekly? Hope everybody's having a really good day. I'm trying to have a really good day. I got my coffee, uh, Jesus, but it's below 20. I don't do good below 20. I mean, I don't do that good below 30. I don't do that. I like warm weather, y'all, okay? Uh, that's why I live in Texas. I thought Texas is, is supposed to be always, you know, 90 degrees, sun's out. Um, not today. Not today, it's not so... All right, let's get rolling today. Um, I'm going to do Prophetic Week a little bit different this week. Uh, I'm going to start off where I thought I was going to end. But there's three words that as I was looking over a lot of different prophetic words that I heard a lot this week. But also, these are three words that I kept, you know, hearing in my spirit. And, you know, during the week, I get a lot of people email me, text me, Facebook message me. Uh, people that I know personally will call me, ask me, hey, man, what are you feeling? What are you sensing? And these are three words that I personally was feeling, but also I've heard a lot of key voices in the body of Christ say them. The first one is shaken, that there's a whole lot of shaking. Um, you can feel the shaking. You can can hear the shaking. You can actually see the shaking going on. Um, and the thing about I, I like about shaking is when things are shaken, you actually don't know how things are going to look when the shaking's over. So whenever there's a shaking going on, you're kind of preparing and positioning yourself for something really good to happen. So when you feel shaking, don't don't be nervous, don't be be scared, just uh, embrace the shaking, position yourself for what's coming next. The next word it goes along with shaking, it's earthquakes. I actually released a word about three weeks ago on YouTube about earthquake. I mean, it felt strong in my spirit, had a very powerful prophetic dream on it. But a lot of people are talking about earthquakes and there are some naturally that are happening right after these prophetic words. But I think what is going on is there is that earthquake, that shaking going on it is the, the kingdom of God actually encountering the earth. And when when two worlds collide, there's going to be a shaking. There's going to be an earthquake. The third word that I've heard a whole lot is the word justice. Now, about two years ago, I released a prophetic word that's very good um, called injustice. Go watch it on my YouTube channel. It's, it's, it's a word that I felt a while back just about things going on. And when I say injustice, I'm talking about in, in families, in households, in churches, in businesses, in government. You know, there's a lot of injustice that the Lord is dealing with. The Lord is positioning his people and the church and the political arena, the business arena, the school systems. He's about to get some just because there's a lot of stuff you can see that is contrary to the word of God going on in our society today. And God is going to move because he has a plan. God, God always has a plan. God, People ask me, hey man, what are you feeling right now? God always has a plan. I always say that to people. God always has a plan. We just got to tap into it. And if it's not the plan we had, we got to forget our plan and we got to go with God's plan, okay? So let's jump into a few words. The first one is by Doug Addison. Doug Addison, the words he had this week were so spot on. He's one guy that when I read his words on a weekly basis, they just minister to me. And he said, you'll get a plan to make what is difficult become simple. Let me just tell you something. There's something I've been praying about for months, trying to, to work and plan and, and structure and position and all that stuff. And then this week, just early this week, the Lord just showed me one thing. I picked up the phone. I called my wife and I said, my love, I've been praying for something for months. And God just simply showed me how to make it simple and it will thrive. It's so simple. So right after that happened, I read this word and I said, oh, Lord, this is a now word. This is a, a now time word for somebody. Nate Johnson had a, a word that was really good this week. He said, things look the most hopeless right before a major breakthrough. It's normally when you're ready to give up and you're trying to find a way to retreat. It's when hope deferred feels like it is closing in on you. 
screaming surrounding you. It's normally when you feel tempted to turn and end all of this madness and just get away from everything you're doing. But no, no, no. That is not, that's not it at all. Now is the time that God is about to do something. God is about to suddenly do something. And so another thing that Nate was talking about, now is the time to uh, contend and pull your sword and start to fight. Guys, this is the time. Listen, I don't care what it looks like. When things look hopeless, I'm always looking for something good to come out of it. God always has a plan. There is never a time in your life when God does not have a plan. You'll never find God being like, man, I don't I don't know what you're going to do next. I, I, just, I just don't know how you're going to come through this. No, no, no. God's never like that. God always has something to do and something to say. Continue on with what Nate was saying. It says, I feel this is for so many people right now. Hold on. It's coming. Even though it tarries, it shall come. That's so good. That's so that's a very good prophetic word right now for you that, that it's going to come because there's a lot of people who are hopeless right now. They're hopeless. Listen, now is the time. It's going to come through for you. Okay. Every major breakthrough I've ever had in my life, I, I felt like, man, I, I hit a brick wall. I, I mean, should I do something else? Should I turn around? Should I find another way? Actually, this week, I, I'll just tell you about something that happened to my wife and I was huge. I mean, this was huge in our life. And something that we had been believing was going to come to pass did not come to pass. So I called one of my intercessors and kind of, you know, gave her the, the info on it and said, you know, pray into it. And she simply said this, the Holy Spirit says, wait, it's not what it looks like. I said, okay. So I waited. That's a word I recently got that it, um, it's also on my YouTube channel. It's things are not as they seem. And so I waited and then all of a sudden, I ran into somebody, a, a guy that that I, I kind of slightly know, and in what I was we were dealing with, that's kind of what he does for a living. So I just simply told him. He said, "Oh man, let me let me tell you what you need to do." And I said, "Oh yeah, go ahead and tell me." This was the next day after she said, "Wait," he told me exactly what I needed to do. So I did it that the next day, and it came on through. You hear me? It came on through. I had that word, wait, things aren't what they seem. I just ran into a guy, just ran into a guy who was able to give me one piece of advice. I followed the advice, changed everything, everything. So good. Next word I want to share with you is by Lorelai Cooley. She said, what looks like a setback is going to be a comeback and is actually propelling you forward in catapulting you into a manifestation. He is closing doors that were not for you, and the Lord is moving now and moving you into doors that he has opened for you. She goes on to say that there is your God assignments right in front of you. The distractions, they're going to intensify in this season. They are going to intensify. But I'm telling you, you have got to be focused on God, and you will go through the right door. And she goes on to say, and she's just praying, she just felt the Lord saying that this is a life-changing moment. Stay focused for there's explosive breakthrough that is about to manifest in your life. That is so true. Such a powerful, powerful word right there. So same thing we've been hearing in this whole flow, okay? You know, just stay the course. Don't get frustrated, don't get down, don't get weary, but keep moving forward. There is a breakthrough that is coming. Agnes Ebony had this word this week. I prophesy that stagnation is breaking. Access has been granted. Step into your mega breakthrough this week. Now, that it goes right along with what Lorelai Cooley said, just hand in hand with that. And so what you got to understand when you find prophetic voices that you trust and, and they start sharing different types of, of words that are like the, the same type of words, you need to really, really lean in. Like this week, I was reading something by, by Nate Johnson, and he said, you know, it's harvest time, it's revival time, but what God is going to do, it's going to be a little different. It's actually, you're going to see a lot of things start to happen in the homes. Now, just not home meetings, small group meetings, but family meetings. 
and so I, I know that recently I've been trying to spend more time with with my kids, talking to them about the things of the Lord and just different things about their gifts, their talents, and their abilities. And I try to find out like with everything that my wife and I do, each one of my kids they like a different aspect of what we do. Like some may like more of like preaching ministry, some might like more of our health coaching, some likes YouTube, you know, sometimes a few of them they really get into our stocks that, that we do and just different things that I do. So, you know, some of them kind of like our housing business we have, but mainly it's the preaching and it's the YouTube and stuff like that. And so when I love sharing with them about how God is using things. And so even in our businesses, I'm very open with our kids and they know how much we make and they know when things are tight. They know what works in businesses and ministry and what doesn't. And I'm teaching them to in life. Therefore, I'm, I'm, there, I'm grooming them for what God has for them. You know, and I tell my kids, what do you feel called to do? And then so... Uh, whatever that even even if it's just a hobby you know my, my son that that kid he loves certain types of rocks and so we we drove two hours one day to a big old field where you can go and you can dig and they got all types of different rocks and we found five or six different rocks and then we took them up to the front they were telling us you know what they were worth and what kind of rocks they were and man my son was mesmerized by that he loved this stuff and I'm like oh yeah cool and then you know I did find this one rock they said was cool I didn't know it was cool but but I mean just it was cool he loves that stuff so I spent a day with my son doing that you know one of my kids loves volleyball so she's going to practice multiple times a week and I used to play a lot of ball so I take her then and my other daughter, she, she loves YouTube. She loves speaking and stuff. And so we work on that, that stuff. You know, when you're training your kids up in for revival in, in, in your home, you're, you're teaching them, whatever you're called to do, be a revivalist in that field. You know, we need revivalists in the political arena. We need revivalists in, in the sporting world. We need revivalists in the church. We need people that want to bring in the harvest of souls in whatever field they're in. And so that was a good word that Nate Johnson had about revival in the homes that really bore witness with me because I'm really believing that this is the time and the season that God is going to do some powerful things in the homes. So I just want you to know that praying for you, if you want prayer, message me. Go to my website, jojodawson.net. Go to the Contact Connect button. Hit it. Then you'll find a place for prayer. Go ahead and send me a prayer request. I'm spending extra time during the week praying for people because just like some of these prophetic words I shared, God's going to give you a plan on how to make the difficult things simple. He's making a way where there seems to be no way. He's doing more behind the scenes than you could ever even imagine. And there is radical breakthrough coming your way. And 2021 is going to be an amazing year for your life.